Na bei euch. I start talking to you... oh. oh, okay. Okay, I gotta take a health item. How do you like it, huh? That went through me. Be like crazy. Oh, I want to calm down. Oh, broke my neck. Okay, I should have packed some healing items. Yep, that's my death. Alright, I gotta use the sword. Forgive me, but I have to. Using a knife, I'm using one too.
out. A long sword. Ow. Stay down. I don't even feel bad. Kazuma, you're a real hard ass. So that's a Kimmy. Must be real tough for her. Date. I found out where they're holding Fuma Oyabu. Where? At Shibaura Wharf. Supposedly, a man named Torada from the Omi family stashed him there. Did you say the Omi family? What the hell do they want with Fuma? I don't know. But Shinji trusted him enough to look after Oyabu. So he must be trustworthy. I see. Kazuma, about the MBI. Jingu is making some big moves. I was just over at HQ. They were really hassling me about you. I think they're getting serious pressure from Jingu. Are you okay, Date? <laughs> it's ironic. The bastards at HQ, they could fire me. But as long as I'm around you, they won't touch me. Kazuma, you're going to Shiba Ura? Yeah. That man... I think... That's the man who saved me at the batting cage. He talked to me about the pendant. Come on, Haruka. Okay. Good evening, Kazuma-san. I'm Terada, a lieutenant of the Omi family. What? Tell me. Why is the Omi family helping Fuma Oyabun? Just like you, Kazuma-san. I owe Fuma-san a lot. Fuma-san is waiting for you. Follow me. You may 
Hubert. Kazuma. Oyabun. I'm glad you're all right. I apologize for putting you through all this trouble. The man you just met, Terada, he used to be an assassin, just like me. I see. I asked him to spy on the Tojo clan for me, him being a lieutenant in the Omi family. Especially Nishiki. Kozma, listen. I'm going to tell you about everything that's been concealed for the past ten years, okay? Yes. This girl's mother, Mizuki, doesn't exist. What? Yumi. Yumi is Mizuki. The woman you've been looking for, Mizuki, is in fact Yumi. What are you saying? Yumi has been pretending to be Mizuki for the last five years. That means Haruka's mother is... Yumi. She is definitely Yumi's daughter, no doubt about it. So Yumi isn't my aunt. She's really my mother? Oyabun, who's Yumi's partner? I mean, Haruka's father. Kyohei Jingu. Jingu? You mean from the MBI? This picture is from nine years ago. The baby Yumi is holding is Haruka. The man standing beside them is Jingu. You know that Yumi lost her memory due to shock caused by the shooting, don't you? Yes. After the shooting, Yumi was scared and confused. She just ran from the hospital. But she did remember one thing. She remembered where the Sunflower Orphanage was, where she was born and raised. Sunflower. After hearing the news, I rushed over there to get her. I tried to help her regain her memory. I showed her a bunch of pictures. What's wrong? Rain. Huh? Lightning. No! What is it? I don't know. I don't know, but... At that point, it hit me. I realized who really killed Dojima. And after that, I decided not to tell Nishiki about Yumi, and instead took her under my wing. But how did Yumi end up with Jingu? Jingu and Sarah were pretty tight. Jingu used to do business with the Tojo clan. That's when Yumi and Jingu met. Jingu and the chairman? Jingu was trying to get involved in the political world. Sera was the man behind the scenes backing Jingu. Jingu met Yumi and fell for her. Since Yumi had no recollection of her past, it wasn't hard for Jingu to fill that spiritual void that she was feeling. I couldn't do anything about it. I thought that if she could live happily with Jingu, she could escape the world of organized crime. I thought maybe it was an opportunity to change her future. With that in mind, I felt that Yumi could be happy spending the rest of her life with Jingu. Then Yumi and Jingu had a child, Haruka. One day, Jingu received a marriage proposal from the Prime Minister's daughter. That's when Yumi decided to leave him since they weren't officially married. She did it for Jingu. But that decision started the House of Cards toppling. Jingu had acquired power through marriage and not of his own accord. So in order to maintain that status, he became ruthless, all the while justifying it to himself. After their breakup, I was looking after Yumi and Haruka. Then one day, Sarah received an urgent call from Jingu. Sarah, you gotta help me out. I'm in deep shit. What's the problem? Just get over here. I'll send some men. Where are you? No, I need you to come alone. What the hell happened? 
there's a body that needs to be taken care of. Jingu insisted it was just an accident. The body was of a freelance reporter who was trying to blackmail Jingu. He was going to write a story exposing the truth about Yumi and Haruka. Sarah gathered notes and pictures from the reporter's home and burned them. But for Jingu, it wasn't over yet. Now, is everything settled? Well, not exactly. There's one more thing to be taken care of. What? To prevent this from happening again, there are two others that also need to be dealt with. What? You mean... Seta, this is to protect our future. We must... Jingu. What do you think you're doing? Chairman! Fumasan, I made a promise to Jingu. Is your word so important that you would kill a girl and her baby to keep it? Nothing can be that important. Lucky for Yumi, or maybe unlucky, she regained her memory at that very instant. Yumi and Haruka. Jingu. That heartless son of a bitch. I persuaded Sera to put Yumi and Haruka into hiding where Jingu would never find them. So that's how Mizuki and Ares came to be? Yes. Sera and I arranged to have Haruka live at Sunflower and to change Yumi's name to Mizuki. We hired a counterfeiter to forge all the necessary documents. We also altered the way she looked, face, hair. But, Oyobun, why did Yumi steal ten billion from the Tojo clan? That wasn't the Tojo clan's money. It was Jingu's. Fumasan, the Shimano family is outside. It's not safe here. Damn Shimano! That crazy bastard! 